So here we've got three Venn diagrams with three intersecting circles and they intersect completely. So I've got A, B and C here all overlapping and even this bit here where it overlaps all three. And that's the same on all of these diagrams. Now, what I want to try and do is write out what the shaded regions are in set notation for each of these diagrams. Now, let's start with this one first. So what have we got here in the shaded region? Now, I can see I've got all of C shaded and I've got this bit here where A and B meet, but not all of A and B, just these bits. So how am I going to describe that? Well, I've got the intersection of A and B and I've got all of C. So that's what's going on there. And I've got here, I've got this intersection of C and A, but not all of A. And same with the B one here. So how would I describe that? Well, to keep the bits out of here, I can see I've got A intersection B. So that's one thing I've got so far. So I've got A intersection B. Now I've got here all of C. So when I see all of it, I could perhaps that add that on. So, but I don't want to change what this bit here comes to. So if I put this bit in a bracket and call that A intersection B, so that bit there, now that bit could then be in union with all of C. So that's in union with C. And that's how I would describe that first Venn diagram. Let's move on to this one. Okay, so what's going on here? I've got my B and my C here. So I've got the bit that intersects and most of it, but I've got missing all of A. So how am I going to write that in set notation? Well, for a start off, I could probably include not A. So let's do A apostrophe. Now you could also write that as complementary of A. So that would sometimes appear as an A with a C in the top there. That could also describe that bit there. Right, now what else have we got? Now I've got most of B and most of C, but the not A. So B, if I had all of B and all of C, I'd describe that as B union C. You could also say as C union B, that would also be the same. So I could even write that like that if I wanted to. So that's that, but then I need to put something inside there. Now, what would I put for there? Well, I've got the B union C or C union B, whichever you are, uh, would prefer, but it intersects the not B, so it meets that. So I'd have an intersection symbol there. So that's how I would write that one. Now, what about this one? So here, I've got all of the intersections. So A intersection B intersection C. So let's write this one over here, keep it separate from this one. So I've got A intersection B intersection C. So I can just write that like that. And then what have I got here? I've got my B intersecting with C. So I've got this bit is in there somewhere. B intersection C and includes all of it. And also got the A intersection C and that's including all of that as well. So A intersection C. Now I can't put them as a union together because I've got B intersection C, B intersection C. I've got A intersection C here and here as well. So I need to find another way of writing that. So one way I could do it, I could have intersecting with C, which is this bit, the A union B. So if I had all of A, all of B, that would include that and all of that but I only need the bit that touches C. So I would write that as A union B. That would take care of that. But what I want is only the bit that intersects C. So then I could put intersect C. That would take care of that one in set notation. So I'm going to declare these as my three answers in set notation. Those two, of course, are equivalent. Okay.